Well, tonight, the legacies of three people are memorialized in the 2024 Blacks in Colorado Hall of Fame. Adrian Miller, an attorney, a food writer, and a James Beard Award winner. Retired Division Chief Charles Thomas Smith. He served in the Denver Police Department for 36 years, and he played a key role in creating the Metro Denver Crime Stoppers program. And the final honoree was William Witzel. He's believed to be the first African-American male born in Colorado. And our Jessica Crawford sat down with his family, who tell us he paved the way for African-Americans in Colorado today. William Witzel. Few pictures of him remain today, but his impact lives on throughout the Centennial State. It lets me understand and under, uh, know that I'm standing on the shoulders of a, of a, of a great, great man. Damon Jones is the great great grandson of William Witzel, forever entwined and connected to the history of the state of Colorado. It probably didn't even hit him like that for him to understand and even to know that he was the first black male born in the Colorado. According to the Denver Public Library, William Witzel was the first African American male born in Colorado. Back on February 24th, 1866, he was born in Central City when Colorado was a U.S. territory. Jones saying Witzel's parents traveled to Colorado for opportunity. For them to move to Colorado and to uh, take, take refuge up into the mountains, up into Gilpin County, where a lot of the work was at that time, it was a lot of mining and a lot of building. It's very impactful when you sit and think about it and you sit and think um, what he had to possibly go through what they went through to even get here. Historians say Witzel's mother and father were likely freed slaves who came west to help build the railroad. The family eventually relocating to Denver lived where Union Station stands today. Saturday, he was posthumously inducted into the 2024 Blacks in Colorado Hall of Fame, presented at the Blair Caldwell African American Research Library. It's the adventure of being that first individual born in Colorado, but then being here, growing up here, selling his roots, the family that he that, that has gone from generation to generation. I think that's the important piece to make sure that we consider when we look at him and his legacy. As an adult, Witzel worked as a brick molder and brick mason. Some of the oldest buildings that we would know as like the clock tower and different things, um, he was very instrumental in that as far as helping actually construct some buildings. He served his church and helped his neighbors through community service. His spiritual beliefs, dedication to community and hard work, making a lasting impression on generations to come. Witzel passed away at the age of 77, a man who made an impact just by his birth alone, also lived a life his family is proud of today. We just carry his name, we carry his legacy close to heart. We love to share it with each and every person that would like to hear about it. Um, he, he was just a great man. He was a great man.